Okay, today is October 24th. October 24th. I just came from the gym. I didn't go to the gym uh, since last Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, a couple things came up over the weekend. I had a lot to do. And uh, I just, you know, I didn't go. Um, how much did I burn? How much calories did I burn? 300 340 let's see I always do that and you can't really see the thing but I'm hoping you guys see it but anyway 328 calories and how long was I there an hour and 20 minutes actually that's it didn't seem like it and let me just turn it off off I'll put that in the computer I'm not really that hungry. Uh, before I started working out, I took a picture in the locker room. I ate two of these, and I was trying to post it on Instagram, and my phone was so slow, I just said, forget it. And uh, on my way home, I ate two of these. I put, uh, uh, so if I ate two, so there were five left, and I ate two more, so I put seven in there. And... Uh, I didn't know how hungry I was gonna be on my way home. So, you know, I maintained the two cookies. Otherwise, my stomach will be all bloated. Um, the only reason I take uh, two, I've probably mentioned it on a uh, previous video. I don't know if I uploaded it yet, but um, I realized that after I work out and I eat uh, more than two, my stomach get a bit bloated and you know so I maintain two and I have a couple videos how I make this I have my supplements in it uh, creatine protein and BCA so I use it at uh, I use the cookies as pre workout and post workout so it's really good and it helped me save from buying supplements all the time because it's in the cookies and I manage how I eat it so plus I eat food so I don't need the supplement that much so I'm putting this back in the fridge for tomorrow well tomorrow I'm not gonna go to the gym because I have a dentist appointment so tomorrow's that so um I'm not really that hungry what I'm gonna do here let me get the phone out of there I'm just gonna make a coffee uh that's the water for the coffee and I'm gonna prep all my food is already prepped all I have to do is take my portion and warm it up um, I'm gonna take my portion if after I drink the coffee I get hungry usually that happens because I'm gonna you know after I take a shower I'm gonna be in the computer doing some work usually the hunger strike like this and I don't usually I'm so hungry I don't want to grab anything to eat so I'm gonna get the food prepped put it in the microwave and then as soon as the hunger comes I just warm, up, uh, warm it up and then eat it. But the main reason I wanted to do this pre-video, that's after my workout, I did record it and uh, I wasn't planning on recording it, but then something in my head said just record it. And there wasn't that a lot of people and some of you may know my issues with me recording. Not that the gym gave me any problems, it's my insecurity of recording when there's a lot of people. So this uh, is quinoa uh, with chia seed and sticky rice. So I mix them all up when I cook it. Um, yes, so my workout today wasn't really more about... Uh, I'm, I want to change my workout. But in order for me to change my workout, I need to go back a little bit because of my sciatic issues. I had to take little step at a time. First, I strengthened my legs, and then once I strengthened my legs, I decided to build up the muscles. And you know, I'm not that humongous, but I like the way it is. So it's been uh, we're in October, almost nine months, I would say, since my sciatic uh, situation, sciatica situation. So um, you know. I, I've done rehab for, by myself without any help 
and uh, I build up the muscles and I'm starting to feel a bit strength. Um, two, weeks, two weeks ago I wanted to do some functional movement and I realized uh, my stability is not there yet. And it's something that everybody should know. Stability is the number one key before you start working out. If you don't, if you're not stable, your core is not stable, your spine, your leg is not stable when you're doing your exercise, you're wasting your time. That's what I believe. So when I tried to do the functional movement, my mind was telling me I'm ready for it. But when I actually did it, I realized I was not ready. I actually hit my head uh, with the bar, and thank God there was no weight. And this is why I don't do ego lifting when I'm at the gym. And I wanted to start doing it, so I start with just the bar. And the movement that I was trying to do, because the left leg, which was my uh, issue, my sciatic problem leg, was not stable. It's not firm on the ground for me to lift the, the bar, do this, and then push it up. I have a video of it, and I believe I did mention I did hit my head uh, with the bar on that video. Um, so this past weekend, and I'm like, you know, I need to uh, do something different, and uh, the, the goal prior was to lift heavy. I did lift heavy last week. And I felt like even though I could lift heavy, uh, I felt like I should go back. Don't focus on lifting heavy. Um, so while I was editing one of my videos, um, where was I? Was I here record? Yeah, I think I was doing a cooking video. And then I realized my shoulder was, both, um, how do you call this? It was uh, protruding forward. I don't normally buy sage, but um, I bought this one. That was a which means I had some, in my opinion, like I said, I'm not a personal trainer. My uh, pack. Uh, what is it? I think it's Pec Minor. I'll look for a picture of that and show uh, show the type of the muscle that I'm talking about. It's this muscle. I believe it's a little bit tight. And I love to do back workout. And I love to do uh, uh, cable crossover and other thing going like this. So I believe some of the exercises that I've been doing probably contribute contribute to my protruding uh, shoulder um, couple of times I'm walking on the street it's not like you know every time I'm walking I'm you know thinking about the way my body is but it's the one of those things you, when you're walking straight ahead and on your side profile you sort of seeing your shoulder bulging forward you know, it never crossed my mind that much to do anything about it. But when I was doing the cooking video, I realized this shoulder, I think it was, I'll, I'll put a clip of that video. And I think I did point it out on the video. Uh, I put arrows and I said something about the, uh, I forgot what I, what I said. Sort of pointed out on the video. And I put a green arrow pointing to the um, area that I was talking about. I didn't do any talking, I just wrote it at the bottom. And then, uh, so while I was editing that video and I realized my shoulder was both, you know, coming like this, and I said, you know what, that was last week when I was editing that video. Um, I said, I need to do something about it. So over the weekend, I didn't go to the gym, you know, a lot of, you know, things that I need to take care of. And I said, last night I told myself, maybe I should do some uh, exercise uh, this week trying to fix those uh, problem areas. The weak pec, uh, I think is pec minor, uh, try to fix it. And uh, I've been trying to do, go back into doing deadlift, but I avoid doing... Uh, flexion because of my uh, spine so I avoid that 
So I did some stuff to start getting myself into doing deadlift again. I've used no weight whatsoever, just body uh, uh, body weight, and I used the uh, why is it the band to sort of help me. Um, I, I I sort of recorded it. Luckily, I did, and it's one of those something your mind is saying do it, the other thing is saying don't do it. So I ended up doing it because I ended up recording it because there weren't that many people around. So I'm glad that I did, and I'll show you guys. Uh, that clip So I started the the workout. I did my warm up and throughout the warm up I was contemplating whether I should record or not. And I had did one set of what I'm doing right now. So I'm sorry the uh the camera sort of pan out. It's too far. I did a couple of repetition on the Smith machine um uh, without any weight. So I started I believe there's uh 5 pounds on each side and then um, I did couple repetition there and then I went on uh, this machine the whatever the resistant to do some um, face pull and <laughs> sorry you can't see my my upper body so this part um, I didn't f I didn't really plan on what exercise I was gonna do the only thing that I wanted to do is to stretch that um, upper muscle and I haven't done uh, bench press with a uh, barbell quite some time I usually do it with the uh, with the what's that thing with the free weights um, with the dumbbells sometimes it takes me forever to think of. I know what I want to say but I can't think of the thing so I usually do a couple uh, presses with the dumbbells so this time I decided to do it with the barbell on the Smith machine to sort of stretch it out a bit I don't know if this is the proper exercise but since this is the first time I was you know I was trying to focus on that particular muscle on that day so I did not um, fully plan on what exact exercise that I wanted to do so anything at the time that I felt like I wanted that could stretch that uh, pec minor uh, muscle, I did it. The face pull, as you can see, I'm going back between the the Smith machine and um, and this machine and the uh, with the face pull um, back and forth, back and forth. And each time I go back to the Smith machine, I add uh, some weight and. Um, and as I remove the weights, I, I don't just remove them like all at once. You know, I do a couple repetitions, I remove the weight, go back to the um, other resistant machine to do some other kind of exercises, and then back and forth. So pretty much, that's, that was the plan. I did a couple uh, repetitions like that, back and forth, and I tried to keep my arm wide for that stretch that's why I have it that wide um, you know as as I continue with that I'll think of more um, exercises that I can do to actually help uh, uh, loosen that uh, particular muscle I really want my shoulder to be you know somewhat aligned not so um, protruding or I think what's the term for it Attracting, you know, it's not that big of a problem, but since I'm aware of it, I might as well fix it. Many people may not think of it as a big problem, and I believe I said on the video, I 
I'm going to the gym to better myself. So if I see a problem, I have to fix it. You know, try my best to fix it. I'm not so consumed with it where in a couple of weeks, if I don't see result, I'm all frustrated. No, I'm gonna do it for for a while, or each time I think about it, I'll do a couple of things to help it. But I'm not that obsessed with um, this particular issue. I sort of fast forward between um, each exercises. Um, you know, for some reason, I, I like to do to show the entire things, so you guys can see that I don't take that many rests between exercises, and that's how I sort of um, do my cardio, and it really, you know, it really helps. I I, I don't like to do the treadmill. I used to do it prior to my sciatic uh, situation, um, where I go between the treadmill and uh, and the rowing. The rowing machine is on the upper level, but uh, since my sciatic, uh, um, you know, I don't trust myself running, and especially the way that I usually do it. So, and I think I had just removed uh, a five pound. And right now, I think I have 25 on both sides, uh, two tens and one five on both sides. This angle, you know, it's kind of dark. So you can see my, uh, my upper body, but I was doing some crossover, you know, it's sort of for the back and also I feel like it helps uh, stretch that uh, pec muscle also you know the face pull and the crossover I feel like at, you know at that time it also was helping with uh, with the chest although it's mainly for the back both of them the face pull and uh, Crossover, but I felt like it was also helping my chest. So I'll look up for some other exercises that will help, you know, my uh, pec minor. So you know, that was a Monday. So pretty much it's been what couple days I I didn't go to the gym. So I didn't. Plus I was busy throughout the weekend, so I didn't really fully, you know think what I was going to do on Monday. I knew I was going to go to the gym, but I didn't know what I was going to do. And usually when I go to the gym, for instance, if it's chest or back day, I just say, okay, today's chest. And depend on the environment at the gym, depend how many people's there and you know what machines are available and things like that. And I just do a couple things for chest. So I don't say, okay, I'm gonna do bench press, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then I, you know, stand behind. There's, at least when I'm there, there's not usually a lot of people. So it's not like I'm standing on a line to, for a particular machine because I had it on my uh, to-do list. As you can see, I removed some weight, and now it's just, I believe it's a five on both sides. Um, so, you know, as I'm trying to finish up with the, chest I remove some weight and I'm going back and forth uh, between the Smith machine and that machine and um, I don't think I did reduce the weight on this particular machine it's very light so it's not like I'm doing like a 50 pound or something like that so I feel like you know the crossover not only helping my back I feel like it's helping my upper chest also and hopefully it did hit the pec minor like I said I'm gonna look more into uh, exercises for the pec minor most likely it has to be probably gonna be some stretches nothing major so here um, I decided to I was pretty much done so I decided to do one superset on this. As you can see, my arm is close, close grip. I don't remember how many reps I did uh, 
where my head see I I stop I probably did eight maybe less I don't know and then I move my spread my arm my hand position a little bit uh, further away and I, I did it again I put it wider I did a couple reps and you can see it, that you know, the chest is sort of stretched when you have that uh, wide grip like that so I was done with these uh, with the Smith machine and the other machine and now I, I decided to do some stretch and I one thing I usually do I move my arm while it's in that position the corner was kind of uh, hurting so I said let me get the towel and um, to help ease that corner pain so I fold it a couple of time and put my arm on it to ease the pain. The edge is very, you know, painful. So yeah, so I uh, stretch it a little bit and while it's in the stretch position, I move my arm in different position. My hand is moving in different, you know, angles, different position and it sort of help with the uh, when I do it, I feel little. I feel the extra, uh, extra stretch on it. There it is. I did the other, um, the other hand, the other arm or shoulder. Whatever. Usually, when I'm talking, I tend to. I, I know what I want to say, but it's hard to come up with the words. So now, this is my problem. I put that. The spine flexion is one of my problems. I can't really bend. I will bend, but um, I'll have to adjust my body to ease the pain. So I said, you know what? Instead of avoiding doing this every time I'm at the gym, I need to start, uh, you know, fix the problem. So one thing I decided to do, I used one of those bands and I before I actually find this location, I guess this is why I felt, uh, it took me a, a while at the gym. It didn't seem like I was there that long. I was looking for different areas where I can put the band like that so I can be safe. It, you know, when I push forward, it doesn't, um, you know, remove from the position that I have it. So I think I look at least for different areas, either the thing uh, that I find were too wide and I can't really pull the band so I came back to this I didn't think I didn't even see it I actually had given up and um, I think I came to get my bag and I saw these two things on the side and I said oh shit let me try it see if it'll work it did but I didn't trust it I didn't fully put my weight on it I was afraid the uh, elastic, the band might, you know, move away and then, you know, I'll first fall on my face. But after looking at this, uh, next time that I do it, I'm going to wrap the, the band behind the post and then make it come around to the edge of the thing on both sides. So at least I'll feel a little bit more confident doing it. So anyway, since this is the first time I was doing it, I didn't, I'm not thinking too much about it. Um, I'm sort of happy that I recorded. At least I see what I'm doing that's not correct. And I can fix the way that I have the bend also. So the goal here was to position myself like I'm going to be squatting or bending down like the, uh, the mannequin thing that uh, I had. Um, so pretty much the goal was to just bend down that's it so i need to get my uh hip flexion um to be functional so like i said i wasn't trying to do anything fancy or major so i had the resistant i could easily do it without the bend but um i don't know why i did that but i think it helps um I put the band below my um, abdominal and 
and uh, try to bend a little bit it helps um, and as you can see each time I bend down well, you know when I have the bend my hip it really hurts it really painful so each time I stop and I do those movements side to side and things like that that's because it hurt so I try to compensate the pain by you know doing the side movement and hopefully it will alleviate the pain a little bit and it did so I went back to it the deflection bend down a little bit try to touch the toe these are things I used to do easily, easily with weight. You know, I'm doing some couple deadlifts and this stiff leg, you know, all sort of movements. And now, you know, I can't uh, really do it properly with ease anymore. So now I was feeling the pain. And um, when I do the side movement, it is the pain a little bit. So this is why I always do the punches like that. I think I was explaining this part and on the video. I don't know if it's at, if it's at the end. So I come to fix the camera. I didn't think you guys were seeing the thing properly. So this is the thing I usually do when I'm doing um, my crunches and stuff like that. I love using the resistance. It really helps it's so weird that I can't even bend down but this there's no pain at all on it from doing it so since there's no pain I maintain I continue doing it so whatever I do on one side I do to the other just stretching even though it's helping the oblique but it's helping my um, my back also at this time that's what I was uh, aiming for not really to focus on the oblique even though I do it the same way I do the oblique it sort of I felt like it helped um, after I did the bending movement see I position the bend below my abdominal spread my legs slightly then I bend down again you know I then use I was a bit afraid. I didn't want the elastic, the bend to move from the uh, area, from the anchor position. So I was afraid I might fall down with it. So I didn't fully uh, optimize or occupy the, or use it the way I should have. So I'm going to continue doing this type of exercises. Um, each time I'm at the gym trying to ease my way into doing bending motions with my body many people at the gym probably see me all the time doing different things but never deadlift this is a new gym I've been there since I believe January yeah since my ordeal with my old gym so that's yeah I used to do some squats I used to and then two weeks into that uh, being at that gym uh, that's when my sciatic situation started so since then I stopped doing a um, couple things and I even did a video where I said you know what sort of exercise I'm eliminating from my routines from that point on but now, from thinking back, I need to start incorporate them, but I can't go straight into them. Those type of exercises that I've eliminated, I need to ease my way into doing them again. So I need my back to get better before I start doing them. Even without any weight, I, I should at least do them. Do the bend even at home. I don't have to be at the gym to do it. At home, do some bending motion, try to touch my knee and my toes, and things like that. And this elastic, the way it, I have it here, it's actually it's trying to push me back. That's one uh, one of the thing I had here. Um, I had in mind. It's actually trying to push me back 
from bending. So I have to keep myself sturdy to be able to bend while I'm pushing forward. So the, the elastic, the bend becomes my resistant from coming forward. So that's one way it sort of help me from um, doing this like that. And I can see, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, um, on my right leg, I, it's hard to point it out, but on my right side, I could see that I'm putting most of my weight on my right leg from doing the bending. When I, I don't know if I went back again, but um, I'll try to point it out um, if I go back. I did go back. So here, it's just to stretch that muscles. Even though it's, uh, it's for the uh, obliques, it helps wherever I was feeling the pain from um, the bending, this helped. As you can see, my arm is not moving. I'm do pulling with my, um, with my body. See, my arm is stayed uh, the same way throughout the rotation. These kind of things that I can do them at home whenever you know, I feel like it. That's not bad. I, now that I'm looking at it, my leg was kind of uh, straight when I tried to touch my leg. So I did went back. So I put it below my abdominal. Watch my left. Uh, not left, my right leg when I come up. You're gonna see my hip is sort of leaning more toward the right. When I come up, you have to know about it, <laughs> but I see it. So that was it with this. See, this is where I put it. So next time I just have to put it behind the bar and then make it come around so there's a loop so here I was just about to finish and I was like oh maybe I should do this nobody's waiting for the machine so this is you know I move as far away from the uh, pulley the resistant and I it's not a heavy weight whatsoever uh, it's probably what 12 or something and uh, you can see some people don't mind. Anyway, um, I my hand is holding my abdominal to you know so I know my core is tight. See, I'm not really moving that much except my arm. So this is a way I'm having to have that stretch on the see I just touched it on that upper uh, on my pec. My hand is open, right? If I close my fist, I'm gonna use my bicep. So when my hand is open like that, I tend to use my chest more to do the work. So here, I'm doing, you know, I go back slowly and I push fast, you know, like I'm punching somebody. Yeah. See, I'm holding my chest to make sure I'm feeling the muscles moving. And you see none of, of my uh, other back, body parts is, are moving because I focus mainly on the pec and you see my fist is open again there my uh, other hand my right hand is touching my left uh, chest to make sure I'm feeling the muscle moving as you can see there's not that many weights on it not much at all very lightweight It's almost like a, a fly, but one arm at a time. I 
and transition. stretch way back I want it to pull my arm and then I have to push it forward pull it whatever see my body is straight yeah, I'm holding my uh, abdominal to make sure my core is tight see my, my head is straight don't protrude my head forward or back or to the side it's straight ahead I'm looking at there's a mirror in front of me so I'm looking at myself to make sure I'm fully aligned and I have that uh, stance for stabilization for stability so all this you know people <laughs> need to sort of understand I have a little belly but Usually every weekend, once Monday come, that belly pops up more. Same thing again. My right hand is holding, touching my chest to make sure the chest muscles are moving. I'm actually doing the work. Fist open, so biceps is not involved. Position. Maybe this is cremation. The other way was like a, a how do you call this? Neutral. And the hand is still like that. Pretty much the main thing that I wanted to do today was to focus on the shoulder, not really to do any lift or anything like that. I wanted to be not too tight. Right now, it's too tight, it's bringing my shoulder in. As you can see, my back is in pretty good shape. And um, so I can see why, I mean, it's not perfect. I can see why this, the chest area is kind of tight. So this, this is why you have to look in the mirror, check yourself. So people who do exercise, they should be, you know, have, you know, straight, everything should be aligned. There should not be this, there should not be that, that, you know. So I realized this is a problem for me. This is too forward. It's not like my, uh, it's big. It's just that I feel like it's too forward. Not only do I feel it, I also saw it on the video. So therefore I'm doing some exercises to loosening um, the pec minor. I believe this is what it called. And it should be somewhat like this not like that you see I feel comfortable like this when I go like that it's not comfortable so right now this is the way my shoulder is. many people may not see it's a problem but if I'm going to the gym I might as well fix it I'm spending time going there I don't want to add to it I'm not getting any younger so therefore if I see the problem you know I might as well fix it okay if I do this it's uncomfortable to me. It should be normal, all right? But leave it like that, you see, it's comfortable. I could walk without any problem, all right? This, I have to do it to bring it. So I need this to feel normal, pretty much. Not that, this, okay? All right, so let me, so I'm having this, uh, quinoa, sticky rice, and chia seed. I'm not having it right now, and then, I'm just prepping it uh, once I'm hungry. And this is uh, cabbage. You guys should, there's so much vitamin in this. You guys should uh, look into it. I just stir fry it, just put basic seasoning, nothing major. So 
So that's that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of ground meat in there because it's there. I did it last week. Okay, I'm gonna try to take as much tomatoes in it as possible because the kids were giving me a headache with it. So I had to go through it to remove almost every tomatoes that were in it. And I think it was this video when I was making it, I saw myself, I saw my shoulder. And I need to bring a, a ball, uh, like a lacrosse ball. I don't have a lacrosse ball. Um, I could use a tennis ball. This is train beans. All these were leftovers. You know what, I'm just gonna finish it. It doesn't need to go back in the fridge. as soon as the hunger strike this is ready I'm gonna leave it in the microwave there it is I'm gonna leave that in the microwave and as soon as I'm hungry I'll just warm it up and eat it I'm gonna leave it there so that's pretty much it uh, I'm gonna make my coffee and take a shower I have to input some stuff first before I uh, in the computer before I uh, take a shower but anyway I hope this video helped. Um, I've mentioned it so many times. I'm not a personal trainer. Um, so I document some of my things. Uh, I found out it actually helped me. Um, the reason that I have this channel is because people ask me what I've done to myself. So the same question keeps on coming over and over and I just uh, create a, a fitness channel. And uh, lately I've been finding out it's actually helping me because I can always go back to see some of the things that I've done and how I've improved myself. So uh, pretty much my channel is helping me. So anyway, I hope any information that I put out there is basically documenting my life. Not pretty much my entire life, but my fitness lifestyle. And, uh, and I hope it can help others and it's nothing major. I don't go out of my way to do any of this. As you can see the food, I'm just prepping it for myself and I'm showing you what I'm doing. I went to the gym, I did my exercise, point the camera at myself and then posted it and you know, explaining to you, to you guys what I, why I did what I did. So pretty much, I just hope uh my channel sort of help you guys in a way and it's always good not because i do it you guys gonna go out and do it it's always good to consult with uh, a doctor obviously number one and a personal trainer and you can say oh i see i saw so and so doing certain things will that be good for me or things like that so not because i do it you guys need to do it too but hey whatever can help. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.